Hello students, in this video I am going to teach you how to solve an assignment problem using Hungarian method. Already I have posted a video in assignment problem. Before watching this video, kindly watch that, then you watch this. This is the problem given. We have to find an assignment which minimizes the total project cost and the given assignment problem is this one. Four contractors are given and we have to assign jobs to these four contractors in order to minimize the total cost. In your question, if it is minimize or optimize or solve the given AP, we have to start. I'll tell you how to start with. If it is maximize, we have to do one extra step at the beginning, then we have to proceed. That I'll teach you in the next video. This problem is to minimize the given project cost in order to find the optimum assignment schedule. For that, we are going to use a method which is called as Hungarian method. The first step is we have to check the given AP is an balanced one or not. What do you mean by a balanced AP? Balanced AP is nothing but number of contractors and number of jobs should be the same. It should be a square matrix that is number of rows and number of columns should be same. Here four rows are there and four columns are there. So we can assign one contractor to one job. So the given AP is a balanced AP. First we have to check this one. So it is a balanced AP. Now we have to move on to the next one. In the next step. In every row and every, first we have to start row wise, we have to locate the least element in every row and that least element has to be subtracted from all the other entries. These are the least elements in every row. 15 is the minimum in the first row, 17 minimum in the second row, 15 minimum in the third row and 14 minimum in the fourth row. We have to subtract. For example, if you start with the first row, we have to subtract this 15 from all the other entries. 15 minus 15, 0. Then 27 minus 15, it is 12. 35 minus 15, it is 20. And 20 minus 15, it is 5. In the second row, 17 is the minimum. This 17 has to be subtracted from all the entries. 21 minus 17, it is 4. 29 minus 17, it is 12. 33 minus 17, it is 16. 17 minus 17, it is 0. Likewise, we have to do for these two rows also. I have subtracted and I have entered here. In this, this row, 15. So, 17 minus 15, 25 minus 15, 37 minus 15, 15 minus 15. Likewise, you have to do for the next row too. After subtraction, no. We have to do the same procedure column wise. In every column we have to locate the least element and we have to subtract that from all the entries. In the first column 0. In the second column what is the least element we have? 10 is the least element. In the third column 16 is the least element. And in the fourth column 0 is the least element. We have to subtract this from all the entries. Since 0 is the least in this column no change in all the entries. So it will remain the same 0, 4, 2, 0. In the next column 10 is the least. So after subtraction 2, 2, 0, 7. In the next column 16 is the least. So 4, 0, 6 and 9. And the last column is having 0. So no change in the respective column. Next we are going to uh, make the assignment. How to make the assignment? We have to locate the row having single zero. In the first row itself, we have single zero. So, we can make an assignment in the first row itself. For making an assignment, we have to cover that zero using a box. While doing that, cross the zero in the respective column. So, we have to cut this zero in this column. Then moving on to the next row, it has two zeros. So, leave that. Go to the next row. It also have two zeros. Moving on to the next column, the next row. No zeros are there. Already we had crossed the zero. So we are not supposed to take this into count. So I explained. 
first row we make an assignment in that case we cut the zero in the respective column second row having two zeros so we skipped third row having two zeros so we skipped and in the fourth row we don't have any zero column wise also we have to do first column column already assignment is done second column is having single zero so we can make an assignment in this column if you do an assignment column wise cut the zero in the respective row in the third column also single zero are there so we can make an assignment here and cut the zero in the respective row and the last column we don't have an uh, have a zero is it clear now we are going to check whether in every row and every column we made an assignment first row is having an assignment second row third row but in the last row we don't have an assignment as well as in column wise when we check no last column is also not having an assignment that means this row that is this contractor is not assigned any job as well as this job is not given to any contractor that is not the optimum solution we have to assign all contractors to all jobs so we have to move on to the next better solution for that we are going to draw straight lines for that we have two procedures or uh, both the procedures i am going to explain in this video whichever you feel easy you can take it out the first one is we have to draw straight lines covering all zeros the assign zero as well as the cut zero we have to draw minimum straight lines both horizontally and vertically in order to cover all the zeros so we can go any way either you can draw horizontal lines or vertical lines but we have to draw minimum number of straight lines covering all the zeros for example in this row it has single zero in this row we have two zeros so we can start uh, row wise right this we can draw a straight line and in this row also we have two zeros so we can take this row for drawing a straight line so within a line we cover two zeros here also within a line we cover two zeros and in this column is having two zeros we can draw straight line in this row as well as in this row when you draw a draw a line in this row it cover only one zero when you draw a straight line in this row it covers only one zero so we have to in order to cover these two zeros we have to draw two straight lines but if you draw a straight line column wise like this it will cover both the zeros so you have to think and draw and we have to draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros like uh, i have started this way no i have uh, drawn two horizontal lines you can choose this column too when you draw a line in this way it will cover these two zeros so you have to think and draw either you can draw a horizontal line or vertical line in order to cover all the straight lines this is one procedure for covering all the zeros i'll tell you i'll teach you one more procedure to draw straight lines the same matrix i have taken the same matrix what we got here no that only i have taken uh, we are going i am going to teach you the another method to draw uh, how to draw straight lines to cover all the zeros for that we have three conditions first we have to mark the row having no assignment then mark the column having zero in the marked row then finally mark the row having assignment in the marked column we have to repeat all these three conditions when we have covered all the zeros after that we have to draw straight lines through all unmarked rows and marked columns i will explain you how to use these conditions what's the first condition given we have to mark the row having no assignment here which row is not having an assignment the fourth row so we have to mark using a tick you mark the row this is called marked row so since it is not having an assignment we mark this row then number 2 is mark the column having zero in the marked row so we have to mark the column which is having zero in the marked row right so 
this is the marked row here we have zero this is first column so we have to tick the column having zero in the marked row that is number two number three is mark the row having assignment in the marked column this is the marked column in that column here we have an assignment and this belongs to row number one so we have to mark the row I repeat, first we have to mark the row having no assignment. In this row, we don't have an assignment. So, we mark that row. And number two is, we have to mark the column having zero in the marked row. This is the row where we marked. Here we have zero, so this column. In this column where we have an assignment, that row we have to mark. After marking, we have to draw straight lines through all unmarked rows and marked column. These two are marked rows. So we have to draw straight lines through unmarked rows and marked column. After drawing straight lines, you check whether all the zeros are covered. Right now. So after drawing straight lines, all the zeros, either it is assigned zero or cut zero. That has to be covered using these straight lines. So whichever method, here I said you have to draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros or we have to use these three conditions. Whichever method is easy, you can go with that. Now, after drawing straight lines, we are going to move this matrix to a better matrix. This is not the optimum solution, so we are moving to the next one. So, uh, under the straight lines, whatever elements we have, no, those elements are called marked elements. And within this, these elements are called, I am sorry, not marked elements. These elements are called covered elements. And the other elements, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 7 are called uncovered elements. So, within the six elements, uncovered elements, select the least one. Which is the least element? Two is the least element. So, within the uncovered elements, we have to select the least one. This least element, we have to subtract from all the uncovered elements as well as this least element has to be added at the intersecting points. These two are the intersecting points. If a straight line is like this, this point is called the intersecting point. So we have two intersecting points. At these two points, we have to add this two and we have to subtract this, uh, this two at the intersecting point. Sorry, at the uncovered elements. So first I will subtract 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3 and 7 minus 2 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7. And 7 minus 2 is 5. And at these two points we have to add. So 4 plus 2 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. All the other covered elements will remain the same. So no change in 0. No change in 2. As well as 0, 0. And this will remain the same 0, 6, 0, 0. Is it clear? So we are adding this least element at all the uncovered elements and we are adding that at the intersecting points. Now we have to do the assignment again. Start row wise. So first row is having two zeros. Leave that row. Second row also having two zeros. Leave that. Third row also having two zeros. Leave that. And first column two zeros. Second column two zeros. And this column is having only one zero. So we can make an assignment here. In that case, we have to cut the zero in the uh, cut the zero in the respective row, and now this column is having single zero, so we can make an assignment here. In that case, the zero in the respective row we cut. Now, after doing that, check again column wise or row wise. This row is having sing two zeros. This row already we made. This row we made. Now this row having single zero so we can make an assignment in that case we have to cut the zero in the column after that this column is having only one zero we made that assignment so first we have to see either a row or column with single zero go with that if they have multiple zeros leaving that move on to the next next row. do this until we all the zeros are covered either with box or cut now you check row wise and column wise. 
either we have uh, assignment in every row and column first row having second row having third row having fourth row having column wise also first column second column third column and fourth column that's all we obtain the optimum assignment now we have to write the answer we have assigned c1 to j2 c2 to j3 c3 to j4 and c4 to j1 and in these places what are the values are given in the problem no in this place we have 27 then in this place 33 15 14 we have to sum up and give the minimum project cast the answer is 89 is it clear thank you